Good evening. My name is Ruthann Zalkowski, and I've been attending the Orchard about four, four and a half years now. I would like to begin by telling you a bit about my Christian background and how I came to Christ. I was brought up being taught about Jesus, but was not really in Jesus. Looking back, what I was taught was not inaccurate. It just wasn't complete. When I started coming to the Orchard, I learned what putting my faith in Jesus really meant. I put my faith in Jesus during a Good Friday service at the Orchard. During that service, it hit me hard what the death and resurrection meant for me. That is truly when I put my faith in him. Because of my faith in Jesus and the fact that I can feel the Holy Spirit at work in my heart, I am confident I am going to heaven. I am still very much a work in progress. However, since putting my faith in Jesus, my entire perspective has changed and is still changing. I no longer place as much importance on material things. I also used to stress out a lot about work and relationships because I felt it was all in my hands. Now I realize that everything is in the Lord's hands. It doesn't mean that I still don't stress, but now I know I can lean on him. In addition, my focus is changing from what can I do for me to what does God want me to do to serve him? I would now like to share with you a testimony to how the Lord is continuing to work within me. After I had completed my second year at university, I went home for the summer with an assumption that the summer would be full of normal teenage activities. As a headstrong, rebellious teen, I was not enamored with the university or career path that had been set out for me. The university was in the middle of nowhere, and the town was void of any type of action, at least for someone who had grown up in Chicago. I had decided a few months before summer break that for the fall semester I would roll at a university in Chicago start down a different course of studies and career path, and live at home. This plan was unveiled to my mother when I got home for the summer. To say she was upset by the changes is an understatement. One afternoon, as I was preparing to go to work, the police showed up and informed me that I had a week to vacate the premises. If I was still there in a week, I would be arrested for trespassing. To say I was terrified would not be an exaggeration. With only a part-time job to support myself, Thoughts took over like, how am I going to survive? Where am I going to live? Am I going to end up on Lower Wacker Drive with a shopping cart? Once the initial shock wore off, anger started to set in because I couldn't figure out how the entire situation had escalated to that level without any further communication or discussion from my mother. I did leave within the week and made a way for myself. My mother and I have been estranged for decades. Then I became a Christian and things began to change within me. I normally host Thanksgiving, and about a year and a half ago, I asked my sister to extend the invitation to my mother. She accepted. On the day, the atmosphere was tense, but we extended pleasantries to one another. The Lord is over all relationships. Christ is Lord over my sin against my mother, as well as my mother's sin against me. He created both our hearts, so I can trust, if it is his will, he will open our hearts to restore harmony. If he provides an opportunity for reconciliation, I can feel confidence stepping through that door. I can't assume to know what's in my mother's heart. Only God can read people's hearts. Could God also be changing my mother's heart as he is changing mine? Because Christ is Lord, there is no need for me to take justice into my own hands. Romans 12, 17 says justice will be delivered by him. My trust is with him. As he is Lord over this reconciliation process, And in his great wisdom, he knows whether it's going to happen or not. In this situation, sinful fear is one of the biggest sins I struggle with. The fear of my mother's rejection once again. In Luke 10, 27, God calls me to love him with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. And to love my neighbor as myself. But the fear is tempting me to not follow the Holy Spirit's lead during the reconciliation process. Which would cause me not to fully engage with my mother. But in Psalm 27.10, he tells me not to fear, because the Lord is always with me. Christ, too, was tempted to fear and experienced being falsely judged and accused, as we learned in John 1.11. He had everything in heaven. The world was his footstool. He was at the right hand of God, yet he came down to earth only to experience the worst. He was poor, condemned, spat on, and ridiculed, as we learn in Isaiah 53. I know he experienced more than I can ever imagine. In the midst of all these torments, he showed love and grace to those who abused him. 
He has also shown love and grace to me by taking on my sins and dying for me. This reminds me that by faith, I can keep going because Jesus has been there before me. I can keep the steady path. By faith, invitations can be accepted to fa family gatherings where my mother is included. The two of us being in the same room and not screaming at one another was a huge step that first Thanksgiving. Before any such engagement, sitting in the car before entering the festivities, I can pray and allow the Holy Spirit to guide what I will say. I can confidently trust God to guide me through any confrontation. God will be with me. Mark 13, 11 says God will give me the right words to say. I remind myself of the truths that I know. The Holy Spirit is in me. No matter what happens to me in this life, eternity will be with him and his glory, as we learn in Colossians 1, 11 through 14. Even though the interactions with my mother may not always be pleasant, I know the unpleasantness won't be forever. Christ is changing me. My behaviors have changed since I became a Christian, and I have different desires than before. By faith, I can forgive my mother and take steps towards reconciliation. 2 Timothy 3.16 reminds me that if I'm having problems dealing with this, I can go back to God's word as God uses it to teach me, correct me, and train me. And for this, I'm extremely thankful.